Hey, Rockford, Jake here today. I'm joined by Mike from the Rockford Ice Hogs. How's it going, Mike? Oh, Jake, doing great, man. It's, uh, it's a good day. Yeah, good absolutely. Day. And speaking of good days, you guys had some pretty big news just the other day. Yeah, you know, it, it's exciting times. You know, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks making a long-term commitment to, to not only the Rockford Ice Hogs, but the Rockford community. 15-year lease agreement. Uh, they're purchasing the team, going to keep the team here long-term. Then, of course, the big news as well with the arena, getting $23 million uh, from the state of Illinois to, to renovate the, the BMO Harris Bank Center. So, you know, it's it's it's, it's, it's a good great. day. It's it a good is. Day in Rockford. It, it really <laughs> is. And, you know, it just doesn't benefit the Ice Hogs and Ice Hogs fans. This is going to benefit everybody who loves coming down here for concerts or family shows or the Harlem Globetrotters or Monster Trucks or whatever it might be. Yeah, Disney on Ice. All like, that yeah, stuff, all that absolutely. Stuff. So it's, it's really cool to, to see money to be poured into this venue here and, and a long-term commitment made by the Blackhawks to keep the Ice Hogs here in Rockford. Yeah, so the news was kind of in two parts, right? So the Blackhawks acquiring the Ice Hogs, mm -hmm. um, which used to be owned by the city, yep. right? Uh, and making that you know decade and a half commitment to keeping hockey here in Rockford. Uh, but then it's also the uh, state of Illinois pumping in $23 million to help renovate the facility. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and they go hand in hand, you know, in, in order to keep the hockey team viable here. The, the, the venue needs a little bit of an upgrade. I mean, this is an awesome spot to watch hockey, basketball, concerts, family shows, whatever it is. This is just a really good arena to, to watch events. But some of the amenities are starting to lag a little bit. And it just needs, needs an update like any other building. I mean, this place just turned... 40 years old about two <laughs> months ago. So, yeah. you know, it, um, and it's only had one major renovation in the 40 years, and that was, what, 14, 15 years ago. So, you know, it's it's time for, for another upgrade, and it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Awesome, well, uh, this whole uh, renovation process is gonna take roughly two years, you said? Yep, yep, so the Ice Sox won't drop the puck here probably till early November in the fall, just because of some of the renovations that'll take place here. Uh, over the summer. But again, uh, the, the renovations this coming summer, it'll be fairly limited. Uh, so when you come into a game here next season, it, it, the place isn't going to look brand new. A <laughs> lot of the renovations that are really going to impact some of the fan experience probably won't be done until next summer. Um, now, some of the renovations that may impact the fan experience that'll be noticeable, we're hoping to get a new video board in here, for example. Yeah, yeah, I so know that's, that's going to make some people real happy. <laughs> yep, yep, so that, that's going to be exciting there. We're going to hopefully be able to do some fun stuff with the video board, maybe some other ancillary LED boards, we'll see. I mean, there's a lot of stuff still kind of up in the air. So I, unfortunately, I got to speak kind of vague on, on what's going on because we still don't know 100%. That's still right. kind of a work in progress. But bottom line is over the next couple of years, you're going to see a lot of changes in here. That's amazing. Well, for those that want to stay on top of all the changes that are going to be happening here at the BMO over the next couple of years, as well as all the updates concerning Ice Hogs hockey and hockey here in the good old Rockford, Illinois, where can they go to uh, stay on top of all that and follow you guys on the internet? Yeah, uh, IceHogs.com, obviously the, the big hub online. Of course, our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our Instagram, all that fun stuff, and, and the BMO Harris Bank Center.com as well for different updates on the building, all their social media. So we're just looking forward to, you know, taking that next step to getting back to whatever normal is going to be, getting some people in here come fall time and, and just entertaining because that's what it's all about. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Mike, for taking the time to get together and chat. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. I just want to take a second to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support. I'm able to take the time to interview you guys like Mike and give you all these awesome updates about cool things happening in the Rockford region and bring you all this uh, positive content for free through the power of the internet. So thank you so much to them. And I will see you on the flip side. Bye, Rockford.